Hey guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm in Long Island. This is Rosa from Rosa's Resources. I came here to deliver a message to you guys. Uh, I know 2022 is on its way. And uh, I want to talk to survivors. If you're su surviving, growing through it, going through it. Through the narcissistic uh, abusive cycle. I don't know where you are. In the cycle, I hope you came out of it. But if not, continue to watch the patterns and make sure, because a lot of people want to get confirmation before they they leave. Your confirmation is that he's treating you or she's treating you like crap. That's your confirmation, okay? You've been in the cycle a couple of times. Listen, I've been with my narcissist for 25 years and I had no clue I was in the narcissistic cycle. You never know that people like this exist, honey. That's why you're so shocked. That is why you're so shocked and you can't believe what, what happened. You can't believe what just happened to you. But it's real. So wake up. You guys need to wake up now. It's real, real, real. Okay? So I want to come here. Oh, man. It's not easy putting this uh, thing on. Listen. Um, I want to come here this morning to just tell you guys to hold on and stay firm and stay strong. It's up to you to live that life that you want. And as you guys are going through it, growing through it, getting through the process, I'm here to tell you guys that you can and you will. As I put my face on, um, guys, I just want to talk to you guys about the upcoming year, about moving forward in your life, and about God's promise for you. All right? He will never, ever leave you or he will never, ever forsake you. He will never, ever leave you or forsake you. You have to find a spiritual center. All right? You need, you can't, you can't do this alone. This narcissistic thing, you got to do it with God's strength, honey. That's what's going to deliver you from this evil. Guess what? I, I don't know if this is working this morning, but anywho... I don't know if this is working this morning, guys. I need to shut my pencil book. Anyway, I just finished reading my Bible, and I got a word. You know, I got a word that you must continue, and God is not going to give you more than uh, what you can bear. God is going to deliver you, and he did deliver you from the enemy's hands. And if you go back, guys, the cycle will be worse. Believe me when I tell you, I know I've been there and I've done that. The cycle will be worse. The abuse will get worse and worse. It's not going to get better. This person have a mental disorder. You probably didn't know that. Because they hit it very well. Okay? You didn't think that a, a normal person act like this. You never think. They're not normal. They're disorder. Okay? I know you don't want to believe it. I remember when my uh, narcissistic person choked me out. And when the ambulance came, you know what they told me? That I need to check him in a mental home, but I couldn't see it. Maybe because I felt maybe because I felt mental myself. <laughs> After being in a narcissistic cycle, you do get a little wacko, you know. Because of all the doubt and all the gaslighting, you feel a little mental. You gotta come back to yourself, come back to your senses. Okay, like the prodigal got, um, son. He came back to his senses and went home. You got to come back to your senses and come back to God. Come back to your center. Come back to yourself. You don't even take care of yourself anymore. Because you don't have time. Because that narcissistic took up all your... He took up all your energy, man. Every single thing. If you was a person that loved to dress up and loved to take care of yourself, after a while, you don't even do it no more. You know what I mean? Come on, guys. It's 2022. Do your journal. If you have a journal, go back and look at it. When I look back at my journal, I see how bad this narcissist has been treating me for years. I go back to my journal and I see it. I started writing a journal back in uh, 20, uh, 2012. And when I go back in there, I seen that one one passage was, was saying that uh, I felt like I didn't know who I was in the marriage. You know, like I lost myself in the marriage. So 
Go back, guys. If you don't have a journal, start writing so you could see, so you won't think you're going crazy when you look back at your journey. And that journal could be a book as well. I know I'm going to write my book, but it's just that it just takes so much time, you know? I have enough of material now, but got to know the process, you guys. Everybody have a book inside of them. <sighs> just start it. Whatever God put you on this world to do, don't let that narcissist uh, destroy you. And I know when you come out of this uh, relationship, you feel suicidal. Don't do it. That's part of the process as well, but don't do it. Let me read what, uh, after I finished praying to God this morning, I came to Psalms 18. I'm going to read chapter 31 um, all the way to chapter 47. And guys, uh, I just think this will be a great word for, for you guys to let you know that you are not alone. You know, I'm a victim of narcissistic abuse myself. So I ac actually know what you're going through. We all, just like the narcissist, it's like a... um. Just like they have a playbook, guys, all of the victim story is maybe your your um violence is more than mine's, but we all go through the cycle, okay? Your love bombing stage may be different from mine's. Your devaluation stage may be different, but I'm sure he treated he or she treated you like crap. And in the discord, trust me, you got it bad. Whether you got choked out pushed out of the car, whatever it was, you in the mental institution, you got it. And the kids are suffering as well. That's what pissed me off. Anyway, that narcissist cannot take your peace if you don't allow them to. I need you guys to get your strength back. I need you to uh, start moving forward and don't look back and turn into the pillar so like Lot's wife. Your life is in front of you. Do not look back. Trust me, I'm speaking to me as I'm speaking to you guys. But I know that why would I go back? Okay, let's, let's reason for a little bit. Then I'm going to read the verse. Why would you go back to somebody that devalues you? Devalue your worth. Devalue your spirit and your soul. Devalue in front of your kids so now the kids are seeing the process and that's how they're going to treat their people because it's generational curses. Because a narcissist probably seen his parents um, um, acting in some manners. You actually also went through childhood trauma. So you're stuck in a cycle as well. You think this narcissist love you. It's not love. You got to love yourself. I am for the first time in my life because I, I, I did experience some, some abuse in my life. Some sexual abuse and some physical, a lot of physical abuses in my prior relationships. But this one right here dropped me to my knees, and that's why I found God. You guys need to know this man or woman do not love you. Love do not hurt. As a matter of fact, if you go in the Bible, um, I don't want to quote this. I don't want to um tell you the scripture right now because I don't know where it is. But I think it's in uh, 1 Corinthians 13, if I'm not mistaken. And it will show you what love is. Love is patient. Love is kind. It's not envious. It's not jealous. Okay? It does not brag. It does not boast. Even the Bible is the instruction and it tells you how to live your life. It tells you how, what love really is. Love is not someone abusing you, uh, trauma bonding you, you know what I mean? Leaving you at times, coming back. No, that's not, that's not love. Choking you out, um, 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 doing little mockery jokes and you think, you know, they just playing. No, he's actually or she's actually insulting you. But the coward don't have enough guts to tell you to your face because they need your supply. Anywho, so Psalms 18, guys, let's start from uh, 32 all the way to 43. And you can read it on your own. Um, I just come here to share. Uh, this is actually the first time I... This is the second time I'm reading it. I read it this morning. I thought it was would, would add something to your life. So I just want to read it to you guys as, as well. Okay, so for God who is God, but the Lord, and who is a rock, except our Lord. The God who equipped me with strength and made my way blemish. He made my feet like a feet of deer and set me secure on the heights he trained my hands for war for war guys so that my arms can bend can bend a bow a bow of bronze you have given me the shield of your salvation and your right hand support me 
and your oh god gentleness made me great you gave a wide place for my steps under sorry you gave a wide place for my step under me and my feet did not sl 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 slid i pursue my enemies and overlooked them and did not turn back till they were consumed. I trust them though, so that they were not able to rise. They felt under my feet, for you equipped me with strength for the battle. You made those who rise against me sink under my feet. You made my enemies turn their backs to me and those who hate me, I destroyed like the narcissist. They cried for help, but those were none of none to save. They cried to the Lord, but he did not answer them. I beat them fine as dust before the wind. I cast them out like a mare of the street. You delivered me from strive with the people. You made me the uh, head of the nation. People who I have not known served me. So, you know, this passage is just talking about how you cannot do uh, whatever it is in your life without God. He gives you the strength. Whatever you think your enemies are, are doing to you, God is the rock of your life. He will help you. He will hide you from he will hide you and equip you with the tools that you need to fight your enemies. The tool that you need is these words because these words are God. These words is God directing your step and strengthening you and just giving you grace to pull through it, you know? And then um, in, in Psalms 18, uh, 48 through 49, I love it as well. Um, the, the God who gave me vengeance and subdued people under me because a lot of us would like to take revenge on the narcissist but revenge is for god let god revenge them god could revenge them the best your revenge is going to be of this world it's going to destroy the narcissist and it's going to destroy you you might end up in jail so let god forgive and let god okay so then uh the last one for this is okay for the last one is 49 for this I will praise you, O Lord, among the nation and sing to sing to your name. Okay, so hallelujah. Thank you, God. Amen. Listen, guys, just keep on trusting in God. I know a lot of people don't believe in God, but let me tell you, I just got baptized and um I just got baptized uh 2020. 20, after this narcissistic abuse, I had no clue about God. I didn't have a relationship with God. I used to hear people talk about God, but I didn't have a relationship. And I'm telling you, I could not have done this whole thing, this narcissistic abuse without God. He is my rock. He is my strength. He is my father, my deliverer, everything. He delivered me from the pits of hell. Do you think you started watching the, the narcissist pattern? And you started watching how vicious they started treating you worse and worse and worse and worse. The abuse was getting so bad, you couldn't tolerate it anymore. Some of us had to run for our lives. Some, some of us, I hope you didn't do this, but if you had to, some of us ran and left the children with that narcissist. And now what he's going to do is abuse the child as well. Guys, if you're suffering narcissistic abuse, don't kill yourself, but... Uh, safehorizon.org guys find uh, and also um, domestic the national domestic violence hotline um, guys there is so much help out here if you need to contact me rosesresources.biz contact me so I could get you those resources guys 
Um, there's help out here. There's financial help. There's uh, housing, uh, legal help. Because uh, if you're in, an, uh, in another state and you're leaving with, with your child, you need to make sure you do things in the proper order, the legally legal way to do it. You need to get a restraining order from that narcissist. And as far as restraining orders, we know sometimes even with restraining orders, a lot of uh, victims do get murdered. But you want to have that, uh, this is how serious this is, guys. You want to have that uh, order in place so that they will know who to go and get. They will have a record. They would have, um, you know, everything would be tracked in the in the legal system. So you want to make sure you do not drop the, the, the restraining order. I did that. After he choked me out, I dropped the order because he came and he was love bombing me. And I thought, oh, I was trying to save my marriage. Like I said, don't do this alone. Go talk to God and let him give you an answer. First of all, we all need to listen to our intuition. A lot of people have different beliefs. A lot, Some people are not religious. I'm not religious. I'm more spiritual. I'm trying to connect with the, with the energy of God, you know, and he speaks to me every time. But it's all about a relationship, guys. You have to go and develop this relationship with God. Coming out of narcissistic abuse, it's so hard. Some people do not make it, guys. They either kill themselves or the narcissist kill them. I do not want that for you guys. Again, if you need help, uh, rosesresources.biz. So um, just send me uh, your information and uh, I'll, I'll point you in the right direction. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, custody. You want to make sure you go to the courts and get full custody of your child or 50-50, however you want to handle it. But I got full custody of my son. Full, full custody. If anything, the narcissist has to ask me. You know what I mean? Full custody, guys. I did not I did not want to just leave my child like that, you know? Anywho, um, just know and, and and another thing, if you could get therapy or coaching, you do that. Get therapy or coaching. You need to talk to somebody. A lot of your friends, family are not going to understand you. That narcissist is already smearing you. So they think you're crazy. Um, your family, some of them, even your mother and father, they uh, take the narcissist side because they're very charming and they trick people because they treat everybody else on the outside so wonderful and treat you like a slave. Okay? So, guys, uh, looking back, retrospect, I'm actually happy to be out of this relationship. I know I um, I already found the love that I want. I, the love that I want is from Lord Jesus Christ. It's so comforting and I could depend on him. He will never leave me or forsake me. Um, but in the physical world, if God is going to send me another husband, because I don't want a man, I want a husband. I want a husband that's loyal. Uh, I want a husband that uh, has integrity, that is a boss man as far as his, his business growth. Uh, somebody that could grow, somebody that is not stagnant. You know, so many qualities that I look for, except not only the physical. A lot of people are so much into lust, but when that lust is gone, all you have is that's all you have. You don't have a man that or a woman that could pray for you when things get rough, they get panic, they don't have the source to go to. So I, I don't want this type of relationship anymore. Now that I know myself, now that I love myself, it's just a so, such a different. Uh, such a different atmosphere. It's just a difference when you have the spiritual side of everything. Everything connects when you get into the spiritual side and you're not living a carnal life, you know? So anyway, guys, I pray for you. As a matter of fact, let me just say a little prayer while I close this out, guys. I hope, I ask God right now, I, I lift my head to Heavenly Father. Um, I pray for all the victims of narcissistic abuse. I pray for the children as well. I pray for the family. I pray for the entire family because a lot of our family, God, is uh, narcissistic. We didn't see it. We were so blind because we grew up in the system in the name of Jesus. Father God, we ask you to break generational curses. Oh, Father God, we ask you to break those curses off the chains of the families. Call your family names, guys. Call your narcissists by name. If you are in a, a marriage, call the 
uh, call the narcissist, call your name, ask God to pray, break that covenant because it's the spirit that you need to go into. God, we ask you to develop us spiritually in the name of Jesus. And Father God, I just ask you right now to put an extra blessing and give these victims a warriors, survivors, give them strength, oh Father God, so that they be able to take care of themselves first, love themselves and take care of those children because the children are suffering as well. We want to break the cycle of generational curse so the children, children, children won't go through this abuse or this cycle of abuse in the name of Jesus. We break every narcissistic cycle right now, God. We break it. We tear it down. We break down all demons that want to come around us and fight for our soul. Our soul belongs to you, God. And we just ask you in the name of Jesus to rescue us entirely from the hands of the enemies in the name of Jesus. No weapon, no weapon that form against us shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We just thank you for the escape. We thank you for the deliverance. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the lessons and the blessings. Just keep on guiding us, oh Father God. Hallelujah. We pray for peace in the name of Jesus. We thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Amen. So guys, I hope that was, um, I know it was a little struggle in some, in some ways here on this, uh, tape, but it's like so raw and I feel you, I feel you guys take care of yourself. 2022 is coming. It's all up to you. No longer do you have to worry about a human being to lift you up and prompt you up, prompt up yourself. First, you go to the source, you go to God. Just know that um, although it's nice to have a partner, everything really in life, guys, when all these people go where you have yourself. So first, it all starts with you take full responsibility of your life. Get up if you want to go to school, if you want a new job, if you uh, have a business idea that you want to get up and do it. This is a new year. Don't look back, look forward. And I hope, guys, that you are blessed and you continue to move forward. There's, you already know what's... Uh, you already know what you went through. How much more years do you want to continue with the cycle? Are you going to wait until you're older? Are you going to wait until he destroy you? Are you going to wait until your kids are destroyed? Get out now. Get out. Have a good day, guys. Be blessed. <laughs>